Hello there, sword friends. Today I have a follow-up video around the Kingfisher Bokin review that I made some years ago, and I've used this Bokin quite a bit since I made that review. It's been my mainstay in training for Katori Shinto Ryu. It's a Katori Bokin, after all, it's specifically kind of geared towards that martial art, and so I use it a lot when I train in Katori. And my Bokin is largely responsible for the disintegration of my teacher's Bokin, and so I've recently purchased one for him as both a thank you for teaching me stuff and an apology for breaking his Bokin. So uh, I can compare and contrast mine to a new one that you would get, and uh, well, I guess some basic spoilers here. Mine has held up really well. I couldn't recommend it more, even though I, I don't necessarily train with every Bokin out there. I've, I've played with the Cold Steel ones, some pieces from SDK. Uh, I've held and played with some from other high-end shops in Japan, and while I haven't owned any of those, I've, I've trained with them. Some people share them around at the dojo, and the Kingfisher one is is one that I've really enjoyed. And I'll uh, you know, note some some meaningful moments to me that, that made this Bokin stand out in a moment. But the reason that I'm doing this video is, one, I've used and abused this Bokin for a few years now. It's sat in my trunk in 20 Below weather, where I happen to live, it gets to 20 Below frequently enough, uh, as well as, you know, it's 100 above and humid. And so it's gone through weather changes, I neglect it, I also swing rather hard in Katori, so you'll see that, see that mine has lots of little pings and dings on it, and that's from rather abusive practice in Katori. There's a, a series of paired kata that you do where you clank bokins together. Senior students and, and skilled students tend not to aggressively hit that hard, but I do. Um, and <laughs> anyway, my, my bokin has stood up to it. Unfortunately, my teacher's has not. His was made out of white oak. It held up for a number of years, but after many long battles with my bokin, his eventually has, has succumbed to uh, no longer being uh, particularly useful. So I thought, well, what better to do than get the Bokin that has treated me so well over these years? So I bought a, another Kingfisher L7 Bokin, the same version that I bought some years ago for myself. It's made out of hickory. I wasn't sure initially, but I believe that's the case anyway, that they're made out of hickory. And that seems to be a wood that does Bokin-related activities quite well. Now, uh, it's more or less a big stick of wood, right? And if you're thinking, well, if you want a really hard wood, I'm not trying to go euphemism territory here, but uh, you could get like ironwood or kamagong or something like that. Why wouldn't you want to use something like that? Uh, well, they can be very brittle. And so when you're clacking these sticks together, having a really like dense and hard wood is not necessarily great. The wood needs to be able to flex because you're going to bang it into another stick. And if it doesn't flex and shatters, it can turn into little shrapnel pieces that can be dangerous to train, train with. So. Hickory seems to be a pretty solid balance between a, a dense hardwood that also seems to flex and do bokin related activities pretty well. To give you some idea how mine how mine has held up, it is again important to know that it's in weather changes and abuse. Uh, most people I think would bring these inside, uh, oil them, maybe I'm not sure if you're supposed to oil your bokin or not, I don't, I leave it in my car, it's a training tool and I, I do whatever's convenient for me. And it has, it has done well. Um, I have had some splintering along Kind of the Mauna Uchi area, the area where you're you're commonly striking, and more or less I just took a little bit of sandpaper, rubbed it down. I didn't really have to disfigure the shape. It hasn't changed fundamentally since since I got it. It's still about about the same shape. Uh, there's a lot of little pings and dings in my bokin, but other people certainly have it worse. <laughs> so this hickory wood that is is used seems to hold up really well, and the the dings that I have are uh, well. Pretty, pretty appropriate for how, how hard I'm striking, but a lot of other bokins that I've, I've had in class have either broken um, against this if they're particularly cheap or frayed or diminished more substantially than this one has. And other bokins that I've used, incidentally, have also uh, diminished. This seems to be, hickory in general seems to be pretty durable. I've got another bokin in hickory that really has held up well. Um, I've trained with one that is white oak. That one did not hold up as well, but I think it was a cheaper white oak. Um, I've trained with some other kind of cheaper, you know, martial arts supply kind of bokins, and, and many of them have broken. This has held up well. It's been a great training tool. The only thing that uh, that it misses is sometime if we're doing certain drills, I don't have like a guard area down here. It's not a bokin that's made to do that, and so you can get your, your fingers bit, but I'm sure Kingfisher makes bokin that have different styles. This one is geared to Katori, and this is the traditional style of Katori bokin. Otherwise, the lines have held up well. The minor uh, splintering and whatnot that I've seen has been abated with a little bit of sanding. It takes some time to sand this. It's not particularly quick, but it also isn't like really hard to do or anything. It's just if you're doing it by hand and you don't want to go too deep, then you, you're, you're kind of 
lined up to do it by hand, that's that's the way to go rather than a power tool where you might might accidentally take off way more than you want and it just takes a little bit to go over. Anyway, it's held up well. It's also colored a little bit. It used to be lighter and over time the wood has aged. Um, the little bits that I've sanded have kind of exposed the original color of the wood. I don't believe this was lacquered or stained or anything. It's just gradually aged and yellowed a little bit. I happen to like the, the aged color though. The, uh, the patterning in the wood has become more bold over time. Anyway, it's held up well and I've really, really enjoyed training with it. Some, some other notes that, uh, that have come up around the bokin that I didn't realize when I reviewed it is one, uh, in seminars, uh, there's usually a wall of bokin up on the, up on the wall and the visiting teacher from Japan will go around and pick one. Uh, sometimes he'll, he'll pick them up and swing them around and put them back on the rack. And, uh, he's, he's chosen my bokin a couple times. <laughs> and so I'm, I, I'm not putting it there for him, unfortunately. And I, I typically am like, oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll use, a something else I don't like as much, but it's, it's, a, it's a treat that he <laughs> picks it up and likes it so much that it seems to be the one that has been preferred a few times by, uh, by visiting teachers, as well as if I share my bokken. So if for some reason I need to switch, if I hand somebody my bokken and I'll take like the naginata or the bow or something like that to train with, and I just for ease uh, exchange my bokken. Uh, sometimes people have grabbed it and been like, oh, like, this is this is really nice despite the fact that it has you know pings and dings and stuff so if you train in martial arts if you study an art like a tori that has a particular or prescribed style of bokken uh, you may appreciate some of the things that kingfish or some of the little nuances that they do this one and i mentioned this in the video which will be linked down below as, as well as their website but this little swell at the end of the bokken how it transfers some of the clean lines how sturdy it feels in your hand, how, how it indexes where you feel like you know where the, the edge should be. Um, overall, just kind of a, a joy to train with, a, a, great, a great tool to, uh, to, to be your buddy while you're training. So like I said, I've, I've been happy with mine. It hasn't survived unscathed um, and it's not expected to. I feel like the amount of abuse and the amount of neglect that are thrown at this Boken is, uh, I'm really actually impressed overall that I haven't had to buy a new one for myself. Um, and it continues to be a, uh, a lesser Bokin demolisher. So I got Teacher another Bokin just like mine. So this is another one from Kingfisher, brand new out of the box. And there are some, well, really only one minor nuance difference that I can, I can point out or see, and that is that the spine is marginally thicker than it was on mine. That's not a bad thing. In Katori, there's you know, some movements where you use the spine to flick or hit your opponent's blade out of the way. And so a little bit, um, a little bit thicker edge here is, is likely just going to mean less pings and dings and that it won't show as much because the material's a little bit more, but it doesn't feel heavier or lighter. It feels pretty consistent. If I set them next to each other, it looks like the pattern that they're using and the little details, uh, the swell on the, on the base of the, the bokin, as well as this kind of pattern around the the kasaki or the tip of the bokin, the clean uh, lines and the nice smooth sanding are all are all pretty consistent. Uh, this is the second bokin that I've I've gotten from Kingfisher, and I'm equally impressed. It's not inexpensive, so this was like 160 bucks or something like that, and it's it's a lot for a stick. <laughs> I won't I won't argue that, but if you are a person that uh, studies a martial art, appreciates nice tools and craftsmanship, then this I think has some some pleasantness to offer. I've, like I said, I've really enjoyed mine. I've used other Boken. This is my favorite, the Kingfisher L7 Boken that I use. Uh, it's my go-to, my mainstay. It's what I enjoy training with the most. It's the nicest. It seems to get recognized, which makes me feel a little bit, I don't know, like I'm spending my money well, like there is, I'm not crazy for uh, for liking it, that there is some something special about it beyond other pieces, <laughs> other lumps of wood. Um, anyway, hopefully, uh, my, my teacher enjoys it and uh, accepts both the gratitude for many years of good Katori teaching as well as an apology for not learning to swing lighter and breaking his old boken. So anyway, that's what I got. Hopefully it has been helpful. Hopefully it's useful if you're deciding to buy martial arts supplies. Martial arts supplies. Kingfisher seems to make good stuff. I only really have experience with their Katori boken, but if I studied a different martial art or needed a Joe or some other piece of... Uh, of Boken style woodwork, then I wouldn't hesitate to reach out to him. Anyway, uh, that's what I got. Hopefully it's been useful. Cheers and thanks for watching.